Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your girl, Akudo. Welcome to your Unique Monday. For this week, I'm going to motivate you from Philippians chapter 4. I'll read verse 1, verse 4 to 6, and then from verse 8. Philippians chapter 4, I'll start with verse 1, and I read. Therefore, my brothers, dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dear beloved. From verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known to all men, the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatsoever things that are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me too. And the God of peace shall be with you. My brother, my sister, this week I'm just going to motivate you to just praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. The Lord has been good to us. The Lord has been faithful. If it was not for the Lord, where would we have been? We are alive today because of God. You are breathing today because of God. You are not gone today because of God. There are so many people that were born the same day you were born. And they are not where you are today. So many people died. Your age mates, so many of them are dead. So many of your age mates are homeless. So many of your age mates are sick in the hospital. So many of your age mates are stuck somewhere in drugs somewhere they are not married they are having a bad marriage things are not working in their life my brother my sister you are here no matter how bad you think your life is you are here you are alive you're kicking and the lord is blessing you sister my brother you are blessed and highly favored Rejoice in the Lord, my beloved brother, my beloved sister. St. Paul was telling them who I long for. Stand firm. Walk into this week rejoicing with a heart full of thanksgiving, with a heart full of praises, with a heart full of adoration for God, blessing God and praising Him and worshipping Him. He says rejoice and again I say rejoice. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're going to go through this week. I want you to be in the spirit of thanksgiving. I want you to be in the spirit of praises and worship to God who made it possible. Even though it doesn't look the way you want it to look, you might not be where you want to be. But my sister, you were not where you started from. Think about that. You are not where you need to be or you want to be. But my sister, you are not where you were before. You have come a long way. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. You have put in some couple of steps into your journey. Keep going. Keep pushing, my sister. Rejoice. Verse 8 say again, I read it. It says, finally, brothers, whatsoever things that are true, those things you know that are true about yourself, not what people think about you, not what people assume about you, not side remarks people make about you, those things that are true. You are a chosen generation, you are wonderfully and beautifully made by God, you are God's apple, the apple of God's eyes, you are an heir to his throne, those things that are true, those things that cannot be changed for nothing. He said, think about them. Whatever things that are honest, things that keep you honest and make you honest, your dealings with people, your dealings with colleagues, your dealings in your business, whatever that make you honest. He said, whatever things that are just, 
not the unjust, those things that are just, whatever things that are pure, the Bible says the pure in heart, we will see God. Keep your heart pure. Those things that are pure. He said, whatever things that are lovely and beautiful and wonderful, whatever things that are of good report, what kind of report do people give about you? If I come into your city, if I come into your home, your home, will your husband tell me you are a born-again Christian? Can your children testify that you are a child of God? Some of us are just Christians in church. We are just Christians in the ministry, but our husbands, our wives, our children can never testify that we are children of God. Charity, they say, begins at home. Your children should be able to testify, oh no, my mom is a Christian. My mom is a prayer warrior. My mom is Holy Ghost filled. Your husband, your wife is the first person that should say, my wife is a Christian. My husband is a Christian. My sister, what kind of report are we getting from you? The Bible says, whatsoever, whatever things that are of good reports, what will your colleagues say about you? If I come into your place of work, will your colleagues tell me that you are a child of God? Will your family tell me you are a child of God? Will your business partners say of the truth you are a child of God? Will your fellow students, your, your classmates, will they testify, mm, there is something different about that girl in my class. I think she's a Christian. What could report? What is the kind of report people are giving of you? The Bible says whatsoever that is of good report. That's the only thing they should say about you. Don't worry about people that know that you are of good report, but they will try to twist it around. I'm not talking about those people. I'm not talking about the haters. I'm not talking about the accusers of the brethren. Those that know that you are a Christian, but they will pretend and say, oh, you're not there, especially when they want something from you. Can I get your lunch? Can you give me money? And you say, no, I don't have it. Oh, I thought you were a Christian. Uh-uh, that's not the report I'm talking about. That's a report they want to manipulate you into a good report. I'm talking about sincerely. Do people around you know you are a child of God? How do you live your life? What kind of conversations do you carry? What kind of spirit do you have around you? What kind of energy do you have around you? When people see you, can they testify? Yes. There is something different about this sister. There is something different about this brother. Good report. He said, whatsoever is of good report, if there be any virtue, any virtue at all, it should be associated with you. And if there be any praises, if they need to praise something, they should praise you because you are the child of the Most High God. They should praise you because your father is the Almighty God who say he has the whole world in his hands. He said, those things which you have both learned, we have learned from the Bible, we have received by our own testimony, we have heard from other people's testimony, and we have seen happen in different people's lives and in our lives. He said, God of peace shall be with you. My sister, my brother, today I just want to encourage you. Step out this week and rejoice. Be thankful for the good, be thankful for the bad, be thankful for the evil, for the ugly. Because remember, for every season, there is a reason and there is a lesson. If you find yourself in any season, take the lessons of that season and move on to the next season until you get to your destination, until you get to your destiny. You step out into this week. You don't know what is going to meet you today. It's going to meet you on Monday morning. You don't know what kind of business will come to you on Monday morning. You don't know what the devil is going to throw at you on Monday morning. But I'm here to encourage you this week. Just rejoice. Just be happy. Be thankful for the ones God has done. God woke you up this Monday morning. God woke you up this week. God has put a roof over your head. God, you are not homeless. Your children all woke up with you. Your husband woke up this morning. It doesn't have to be monetary. It doesn't have to be all money. You are a blessing. You are a blessing. You are alive. Some of your mates are in the hospital. Some of your mates are not married. My sister, you're complaining about your marriage. 
Some of your mates are not even married. You're crying over your children. Oh Lord, these children, these children. Some of your mates are fasting for God to bless them with the fruit of the womb. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, some have ten of them. That's a blessing from God. Rejoice about that. This week, I just want you to rejoice. Don't go about this week asking for nothing. Let's make, let's make a deal, my sister, my uniques out there. Let's make a deal this week. This week is a week of thanksgiving, is a week of praises, is a week of worship, is a week where we're going to rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Don't ask God for nothing in your morning devotion. Don't ask God for nothing in your evening devotion. Wake up in the morning and praise God and sing worship song and praises unto his name. Before you go to bed, sing worship just whenever you want to go into your altar to see God and meet God, make sure you just go with praises, you go with thanksgiving, you go with adoration, you go with everything you got and just thank God for what he has done and what he's going to do in your life this week. This week is a week of testimony. This week is a week of thanksgiving. There is something they say in my country, in Nigeria, when you praise the person that have done something good, you make and encourage them to do more. Let's worship God this week for what he has done in the past, for everything he has done for you, my unique, in the past. Let's just worship him this week. This is a week of worship. Let's just worship and thank him. My sister, my brother, the Bible says rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Let your testimony, let your praises be known. God is at hand. Jesus is coming back very soon. And you know all we're going to do in heaven, the Bible says, is worship and adore him and praise him and bow down and say, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. That's all we're going to do. Let's do that. Let's start this week by praising God. Remember, my sister, you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. Remember, my brother, you are unique. Remember to give us a thumbs up. Remember to share this video. Encourage somebody this week. Get as many people as possible. Let us praise the Lord and worship God this week. Remember to subscribe to the channel and get your friends to subscribe. Remember, whatever that comes up to us this week, no matter what the devil throws at us this week, we are not going to ask God for nothing. We are just going to worship him for the good. We will worship him for the bad. We will worship him for the ugly. We will just worship him this week. And by this time next week, we are going to come back again with testimonies of what the Lord did for us this week. Be safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye.